Okay, in this video I'm doing a simple performance and feature test of version 2.66 for the um, integrated physics within it now. It does have some advantages, uh, this version versus regular bullet physics integrated within the game engine. And what this offers, f at least for starters, let's run this and I'll show you. So basically I have a cube and you can see it's coming down and it's interacting with the surface. You see, it comes down, it's actually acting, it's like a rigid body here. It's working like a rigid body. This is not soft body physics. And, but at the same time, I'm able to kick the particles out of it like I would. So the advantage is instead of you having to set the keyframes and moving your object or your emitter to a particular location or doing it on you know, a path or something like that, now you can take advantage of these gravitational forces and the interaction with the surfaces and then the particles still follow along with it. So that will definitely provide some additional cool features that I'll be able to do. And I'll do a bunch of stuff like this because I really like physics effects. But I'll be working with the game engine at the same time for those of you who follow my game engine tutorials because I really like that as well. So, But they both have some distinct advantages I see already. And I'm just kind of doing this for a performance test on my playback and to see how it looks. And let's see what it looks like in uh, rendered mode here. We'll probably do it in texture mode. Let's see. We'll do it in Blender Render at the same time. There's texture mode. I don't. Oh, that's. Oh, I changed over the material, so I don't see it in there. All right, we'll continue with cycles. Let's see if we can do it in how fast it works in rendered mode. So it's it's working. Uh, we'll just step through it. So there it is there, and there it is there. Particles still coming out from there. So you can't do that with versions earlier than 2.66. And I'll just start exploring it today. There's a lot of other people who started working with it in previous versions, but I waited till the final release came out today. And there's usually, there's going to be changes to this as well as time evolves. But still, uh, it's interesting. There's no doubt. And I'll be able to do a lot of fun stuff. And uh, I'll do a lot of tutorials so you know how I'm working with it as well. Okay, well, that's it for now. And I'll see you in the next video.